Hello friends, today I'm going to take you through the process of installing Java on Windows. Um, recently we have had some issues with Oracle. When I say we, I mean people using Java. Um, that was because Oracle decided to stop uh, providing builds of Java uh, for free to people. So people who wanted to keep going using Java had to pay for the new builds they were, they were making from the version 8 of Java. And that's also going to go on of course for the upcoming versions of Java. So um, today I will be showing you an alternative to um, the Oracle Java or the Oracle GDK and we will be using something which is called Open GDK, which is what Oracle has based its version of Java on. It provides you exactly the same functionalities that Java does provide or that Oracle Java provides. So uh, don't worry, you will get it all guys. So uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to look for Open GDK builds online. And something I want to add up is that um, Open GDK is a, an open source alternative. So uh, you can get the source online on GitHub. It's completely free and it's open. And some people, some very, very nice companies are actually putting that effort together to provide us builds of that Open GDK project, community project, um, in order to be able to run Java, even though. Um, Oracle is kind of abandoning us, but yeah, that's the deal. Um, here, as you can see on the start page, we have uh, binaries of the Open GDK. We are not going to use binaries because if we are to do so, then um, yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky to to, to actually install the, the the application to actually install Java. So what we are going to do is that we are going to go to build archive, where we are actually going to get. Um, archived builds of Java. Um, over here we have many versions. Um, we have some ETS versions and some intermediate version I want to say. We are going to go for the latest LTS version which means that we are going to have a longer term, a longer support. The support is going to last longer if you take an LTS version. And over here I will advise you to keep hotspot because that's the default GVM. So um, we are looking for the build for Windows 64, this one. We are going to go for it and then we click on GDK and we say save. All right, now that the package has been downloaded, we just have to click on build downloads and then we open the folder and we double click on it. All right, we have it. Then um, it has been completely scanned by Windows and then we can finally execute the file. So we go on and we say next. I accept next. And those, that's actually something that is really, really interesting about this bit of Java is that they actually propose you this option of adding the Java home to your system, which means that your system will be able to flag where actually it is installing Java. You may be, it will be able to tell to other um, applications where Java is installed automatically. They are going to be able to retrieve that information. That's something which is really, really, really nice to have in this build. Um, I don't recall if Oracle was doing it by default, but that is really nice. So I advise you guys to set it and then you click on next and install. All right, while the installation is done, then we click on finish. If you want to check whether the installation went well, we click over here. Actually, let's try to go in the command prompt and type in Java minus version. That is probably a better way to check it out. And here we have Java 11.04 installed on our operating system. So that was it for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye.